Hello there. Uh, welcome back. This is the second episode of Let's J Minecraft. And in this episode, uh, well, last episode, what happens is we started a new world and we died. And in this episode, we're actually going to continue that world. But first, I want to show you something I made over here. I made it a few days ago. But um, hopefully, last episode, which I actually recorded about, I don't know, half an hour ago, <laughs> Uh, last episode, there was a bit of an issue when I was going through Sony Vegas, which is why I used to edit my videos. I was going through, and I noticed you can hear my fan on my computer. And I tried to tone it down a little bit, but it did affect my um, it did affect my voice, so I sound like I'm underwater now. I don't know how to fix it, honestly. Uh, I do have another microphone, but it's a bit crappy. I'm, I'm using my laptop's built-in microphone, which I know I shouldn't be doing, but my laptop has a very loud fan. But anyway, let's see here. Am I making is Minecraft making noise? Hold on. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I just want to show you something real quick. Then we're going to move on to the let's play. If I can figure out where I'm going. Up oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Um, most TNT cannons look like this. This is a typical TNT cannon. It's actually two TNT cannons. They look a lot. They look like this, or they look like this. You see in both ways. Either one really works. Um, well, I'm just a bunch of TNT over a water stream. And what happens is that you can... Hold on, let me turn down my game volume. Uh, so down to, I don't know, 73%. Alright. Hopefully now I'll be loud enough you can hear me. Um, what happens is that the TNT, first what happens is the... Uh, what in here is the middle. That will activate all but the first TNT, which will drop into the water. And then a few seconds later, the second row will ignite, and it will ignite this last TNT. And because TNT is affected by gravity when it is uh, active, the, and, the and water dampens the uh, effect of TNT, haha, I made a pun, um, basically the water will absorb most of the blast, so it won't destroy any blocks, but it will still propel and do damage. So it will propel any blocks affected by gravity, like this TNT. And so you'll see most TNT cannons like this, or a variant thereof. Um, most of them don't have the uh, automatic system like this one does. But this is your typical TNT cannon. Also a smart idea to use buttons and not... Uh, you can see you just kind of create, create a uh, hole there. It's a smart idea to use buttons instead of levers, because if you leave the lever on by accident, you're going to blow yourself up. But I invented a new type of TNT. I was, uh, I was just gonna, I'm going to prove to you that this also does not do any damage to any nearby blocks that are the TNT, whatever. Or I was going to make a piston automatic loading thing for this, but I decided it would be too much effort. But this is, over there is my first prototype to make sure it did blow up, and then the TNT in the back there is just to uh, test the piston prototyping perplexity. I don't know. I just want to use extra piece. So what this is, it's actually it's a double barrel TNT cannon. I don't know if any someone's already done this. I don't know if it's even the most efficient way. I came up with this design all by myself. And basically, whereas that had enough power to get it out to well, get it out to here or if it's higher it can go even further. This one's at the exact same height as you can see. But I can get this to go a lot farther. Well, allow me to demonstrate. Alright, run away, run away, run away. As you can see, the TNT kind of went away. I'm going to show you exactly how far this cannon can go. It will go all the way over here. This is where it will go. So as you can tell, that's a lot farther. I don't know I don't play any Race for the Wool stuff, so I don't know the practical applications of this. But I'd imagine, it's no Chaos Cannon. Uh, look at Ethos videos if you'd like to see what a Chaos Cannon is. It pretty much, it's, it's not as powerful as that, but it definitely has some range and uh, little, very little risk to you. It is kind of TNT heavy, but you can also modify it if you'd like to have a typical cannon load. You can, uh, oops, yeah. Perhaps it causes a little bit of lag over here, which is why uh, I'm just going to go to bed. Um, 
perhaps cause a little bit of lag, which Minecraft uh, does stuff like that. <sighs> do 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 do. I can only sleep at night. Do 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 do. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys back in in the. Alrighty, we're back. And uh, anyway, if you'd like to have a typical TMT cannon, you can uh, outfit the desired amount of TNT. Oops, bad. So you can put that much out. Then. You can get TNT out to however far you want. You can even use uh, double bear. You can do the same thing with two blocks for the same sort of effect. And again, this will not damage any surrounding blocks. So you can see I have this TNT block right there, and they take no damage. So if you wanted to use a piston system, now pistons uh, automatically load TNT into the spot which is what I was going to build, but I never got around to doing, you can do that successfully and not worry about blowing yourself to bits. Anyway, I shall return to my normal survival world, and I'll see you there. Alrighty, welcome back. We're back in survival. And last episode, we went and tried to light up a cave and got ourselves this kill. So we're going to go try to find out where the cave is. Actually, we're going to also do one other thing, and that is pillar. So I can never lose my house again. Oh, I broke my ankle. But uh, now we're going to need to find a cave. We're going to build a pillar over there as well. Because I am no, no, there's my workbench I made from the. Let's reclaim this just because. I was actually going to, I was looking for that workbench last time, but I never. I never found it. So yes, is this the cave, or is this just ouch? Oh, more more iron. That's great, more iron. One piece. Well, that's enough for an iron pickaxe, which is good. I don't know whether it'd be a uh, better to get an iron pickaxe or an iron. Well, we guess we could have uh, made an iron sword already, but uh, jump. But yes. Uh, last episode, or the word. well, for our first episode, I mean, it wasn't terribly bad. It was bad, but it wasn't like terribly, terribly, terribly bad. Um, and actually, I don't even know what the response is because, as I said, I recorded it about half an hour ago. See, I, I in here, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna put a pillar outside this cave so I don't get lost again. What do I do? I go and get myself lost again. Uh, sheep, can you tell me where the cave is? Is this the cave, Sheep? No, it's that cave that we were last time that I thought was the right cave, but it wasn't. But uh, I think it's the cave's over here. But, yeah, I'm actually I'm rendering it right now, which probably is not helping with the lag, because I'm rendering... Uh, I record a fraps and I edit in Sony Vegas, even though I technically I guess I can do Windows Movie Maker, because... I was going to do a lot of complex things with the audio, and then I tried to do all these things, but I recorded the audio separately. I tried to do them, and then it just caused a lot more problems than solved. So, from now on, you know, I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost already. Um, so next time, well, this time rather, I'm just going to not bother with it. And I'm, gonna, I'm still going to record in Sony Vegas, I'm probably going to do, or I'm going to try to do different things with the editing. Hopefully get this at least somewhat high quality, if not medium quality, at least let's play. To be honest, I'm only really doing it for myself. I mean, I I, I love you guys. I love all my up oh, here. It is here. It is here. It is. It's already getting dark. No, it's not. Um, I I do this because I have a I have a need for attention. I'll admit it. I'm attention. I'm an attention whore. Oh, I'm here. I'm actually gonna put this uh, workbench away. I'm a bit, I'm a bit of an attention. I'm a bit of an attention for. And um, so yes, I'm also doing it for myself. Let me put some food in my hot bar. Um, because I don't want to play Minecraft and like have something epic happen, but then not record it and not have anyone see it happen. 
even though I'm really not the guest, my up there goes down. I always do that. Okay. I, I don't know why I keep doing that. So, yes, anyway. Off we go. Exploring. Like, uh, let's see if there's any iron here. Probably not. Nope. Okay. So, what are my goals in this Let's Play? Because every Let's Play has to have some sort of goal. Um, I don't know, honestly. First goal, put this water out. Because that's just going to cause some havoc. Um, honestly, I just want to have fun. I mean, I, I'm not going to... I, I'm not going to say, oh, we're going to go to the end, because as much as I'd like to go to the end, I can barely handle a zombie and a skeleton, let alone a dragon. So, I'm actually going to mine some more coal. But, um, I'm going to make the fairies safe, because I don't feel good about this. Yeah. Sheep, you scared me. Oh, God, oh, God. I'm lagging, and skeletons are shooting at me, and I can't hit my torch. Yeah. All right, skeleton, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Ha! Aha! I got you, skeleton! I got you, that's what you get! That's what you get for being a skeleton! For scaring me, and I don't know why I'm so scared of these things, because... You see, there's two different things I've learned between watching a Let's Play and doing a Let's Play. Because, like, you, when you're watching, you're like, Oh, ha ha, I can take on all those zombies at once, and my like, creepers do not scare me. And then when you're actually doing the Let's Play, you go like, oh, sh sugar, there's, there's a zombie, a or a spider, or something here, and I don't know, like, I'm actually legitimately scared. <laughs> Whereas my other Let's Plays, like, while I was watching someone do something, going like, hey, he's a, he's a wuss. Alright, so that looks safe. That doesn't... Oh, I heard tick fall. Heard spider tick fall damage. Okay, yeah, I don't. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. Uh, I want to get that iron. So yes, if, if you guys are yelling at me for being a wuss, for being a, so be it. But I, I don't. I don't know why I'm so nervous when I'm recording for some reason. Well, mainly because I'm this scared when I'm not recording too, but... I, again, I hardly ever play outside of Peaceful. Or if I am, in creative mode. When things can't hurt me unless I decide to hurt them. But I haven't even really played Minecraft since Beta 1.8, perhaps? 1.7, 1.8 was the last time I really played Minecraft. So I'm, I'm beginning, actually, I'm starting to get a little bit of a feel for what's going on around here. Let me get turned around. So yes, um, I haven't really played for a long time. I don't know how much it shows. But I used to have this really cool world that had minecart tracks and everything. And I built it all in peaceful. But I was going to turn up difficulty level and I was going to have a let's play in that world and everything. But then... Then I decided that, you know what, editing is hard. I don't like editing. I even recorded a couple episodes, but I never uh, rendered them, I never uploaded them, because I don't like editing, I'll be honest. Like, you would think when you see someone else do a Let's Play, you're like, oh, that looks easy, it's just uh, play a video game and talk. But you run out of things to talk about pretty quickly, or at least I do. And also, um, you get lag. Like, um, also, it's a, lot it's a lot more difficult, like, playing and talking at the same time. It's like, uh, patting your head and rubbing your tummy. Or at least it is for me, because I'm not very used to it. Uh, is this a safe way down here? Let me make your way down here. But, um, so, I'm out of practice. I'm not very good at let's plays in general. Even, like, Team Fortress 2 ones, where I record separately, and I'm not playing the game, because I tried doing it at the same time, and I got so, I was so terrible, I was just absolutely, positively not very good at it, but, uh, spiders, spiders, oh god, creeper, come on, creeper, come on, make my day, fall down that hole, fall down that hole, alright, 
Come on, come on. And then the music kicks in. See, I like the I like Minecraft music. Like I, I don't really like the records. I'll be honest. The record music, I don't care for it. But I do like music like this. Oh, okay. Um, I do like the music like this. I need to I probably go back to the surface and get some more food. Oh, look at all that iron! Look at it all. Yay. Um. So I'm not gonna be doing any uh survival maps, super hostile maps, they have to, but, um, anyway, I like the music, I think Steve 418 did a good job on the ambient music, that's 8, right, so I know I have 8, um, compared to all my other stocks, so, that's good, um, I, but I do think he did a really good job on the music, because, I mean, I, I don't know names of any songs, I don't, I don't, I'm not really one to listen to soundtracks, there's only one soundtrack I have, well, I, I actually, I do have the Halo soundtrack, but I never really listened to it. The only soundtrack I actually listened to... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh god, oh god, okay, oh god. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a lot more scary than uh, I remember. Also, it's getting dark out. Is it? I think it's getting dark out. I, I can't tell. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get up to the surface before... Oh dear, it's getting dark out. Oh, there's gonna be, there's gonna be mobs spawning. Yeah, let, 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 let's get home. Let's go home. Let's go home before anything bad else happens. I'm, I'm going to talk about soundtracks in a second. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Sleep, sleep. <sighs> okay, anyway. Um, where about the soundtracks? So, I actually, I do have the Halo soundtracks. I think Marty O'Donnell did a really good job with the Halo soundtracks, but I never actually really listen to them. Like I don't know. Oh, I'm in the mood for some of the Halo music. I don't like uh, listen to the actual soundtracks by themselves. But the only soundtrack I listen to at all, really, with any kind of somewhat even frequency, is um, the Doctor Horrible soundtrack from Doctor Horrible Sing Along Blog. I don't know how familiar how familiar you guys are with it, but it's completely awesome. You should watch it if you haven't already, because it's like the best movie ever of all time. Or at least I think so. It's one of the best movies, at least. With Star Wars and all that other good stuff. But I'm going to wait for this iron to smelt, and then I'm going to bring you guys back in after that. Alright, I'm back. One other thing is, uh, well, I made an iron sword and an iron pickaxe. Actually, I'm going to give my stone sword in here. And I also put three of the iron away. So that makes eight iron, I think. Yes, it does. Anyway, I realized I need some more wood, so I'm going to go chop down some wood. But, um... Anyway. I don't know how often I'm going to make these videos. I'm going to try to... If not daily. I don't think I'm going to do daily, because daily is hard. Um, I'm probably going to do this weekly, perhaps, maybe, or more likely, whenever I feel like it. Because that's, that you, you cannot trust me when I say I'm going to make a video. Because I've said I'm going to make so many different videos, and then I've never made those videos. Like, I, I didn't even begin to make the videos. So if I say I'm going to be doing a video, uh, I'm probably not going to do that video. So, whatever the opposite, like I said, if I say I'm not going to do a video, that means I'm probably going to do that video, because you cannot trust me. I am just a renegade like that. I am, I'm like, not a hipster. I'm a full-out renegade. Like, I don't even, I don't even listen to myself. Screw the rules. But, yes, anyway, I'm going to go get myself more organized, and we're going to go caving again. And we're off. So, anyway, um, we're off to go caving. I never really cared too much about my status, like my uh, hotbar, back when I was um, not doing Let's Plays. But now that I'm doing Let's Play, because I always like, wondered why people were making such a big deal, like, oh, I must have items in a certain way on my hotbar. But but now that I'm doing Let's Play, yeah, I, I, can, I can definitely see why. There must be like some sort of virus people get when they uh, begin when they do a Let's Play of Minecraft, or like they have where they begin to understand things that otherwise you think are just silly, like, um, 
I, I've never really worried too much about what's in my hotbar as long as I have a pick and torches. <laughs> I never really gave too much concern. But now that I'm actually playing with difficulty and people are watching me play with difficulty, or at least I like to imagine people watch me play with difficulty on because otherwise, why am I doing this? Like, really. No one's watching. Why am I playing Minecraft? Because other than to feed my massive ego, which I'm a writer, I, I, I do writing is my job. And so all writers, as a rule of thumb, must have massive egos. Because if we don't, we'll never get anything done. So, oh, this is where the cube blew up. I was trying to get out. So therefore, there must be some darkness about. Because creepers managed to sneak in here. Get your little creeping selves out of here. I must be on my guard for creepers. Because I don't like creepers. I'm imagining probably came from over here. But back in my old world... Back in my day! No, back in my beta world. My beta 1.8 world. Um, or, was it 1.8? I was 1.8. I'd actually... No, it, well, it was before 1.8. It was like 1.7.3... Before Enderman. It was the last time I really played. Before the Enderman. Before the adventure update. Back when pistons... I don't even think there was pistons. Yeah, I don't even think I had any pistons in my world. I might have. I don't know. It's been a while. But, um, oh yes, I have pistons, I have pistons, I remember now. Um, but I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say, honestly. I, I See, that that's one thing about playing video games, is you cannot, like, I've mentioned this before, you cannot keep your mind straight. You cannot, like, think while you're playing video games, because you don't normally think while you're playing video games. Oh. Oh, cave noise. Spooky cave noise. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if I like this. But, oh, oh, I remember what I was going to say now. Back in my old world, I had this huge, 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 massive um, monster trap. It would never work in uh, new ones, because Enderman would just ruin it. But, where, was, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Um, but, it was a huge monster trap that was totally awesome. And in order for it to work, I had to clear out all the caves. And I did it on a peaceful, of course. I cleared out all the caves underneath. I need to get, I need to get some food. More iron. More iron on the ceiling. Come on. Come here. Oh, I need to jump. But, um, I did it all on peaceful. But, and it, it, was, it was, it was a good world. I liked that world. I rather did like that world. But, uh, I would never do that for any kind of difficulty. At least, not my current state where I freak out when there's anything at all, even zombies. I freak out the zombies. I really freak out about spiders, which are just fast zombies. I just freaked out at a sheep. What time is it? I need to pay more attention to the time. I need to make a clock, which means I need to go deeper. Oh, it's getting dark out. Oh, it's going to get dark out pretty soon. Um... I'm actually going to start playing some torches around here, and I will I will bring you guys back out when I decide to go back underneath. Well, I suppose it's night time is probably the best time to go caving because there's less mobs. I don't know. What do you think, sheep? You have such a derpy face. Look at you, derpy sheep. But mm, I'm just going to light some stuff up outside. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. We're going to go and but we're going to have a little bit more fun today, I think. Yes, fun. We're going to go, some, we're going to try to go a little bit deeper into that cave. As you can see, I've lit up a little bit of the surrounding area, mostly above the base, and also so I can see uh, to the cave over here. Most of the area above the base to decrease the amount of mobs spawning above me. So that way when I walk out the door, I won't have creepers creeping up on me. Because no one likes being like, greeted by a friendly creeper as soon as, they, um, as soon as they walk out of their door. That's also why I will try not to do any building at night. Watch in like three episodes, and I try to build at night. 
But um, speaking of building, I'd like to at least have a uh, big enough world for a minecart system. As, as I was going to mention before, but I forgot to mention. And I have a... Um, I hear more mobs. But um, I actually had a fairly large minecart system in my old world that took me from place to place to place. And it was really awesome. I really liked it. I don't think it worked anymore, but it, it, it was really awesome back then. And uh, zombies are awfully close. They're somewhere around here. Probably at the bottom of this waterfall. Did not mean to do that. Try, you, you never want to be inside a waterfall stream because you don't know where that's going to be leading. You want to try to avoid them if possible. Because mobs are probably going to be at the other end. That's one thing I have learned from exploration and tactics, which I mentioned last time. That if you can avoid it, like I should really, I should. Get out of here. I don't, really, I don't like the way that zombies. Zombie. Well, Jay, that was two failures in one. Congratulations. Oh, I need to get. I keep needing to get some food, and I keep forgetting to get food. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start starving to death. Okay, it's gonna be a little while, but I've noticed as it takes longer, as, as you are hungrier for longer, as you have less food bars. Let's try this again. As you have less food bars, I've noticed that you tend to get more um, hungry. Uh, you, you tend, they tend to decrease faster. And, okay. Where are those zombies? They're like right here. Sounds like they're multiplying mm -hmm. with the dungeon. Mm -hmm. I've I've never encountered a dungeon. To be honest, I have I have honestly never really found a dungeon. Hold on, I'm actually gonna stop recording and see if I can figure out where these zombies are. I found them. I don't know if they're in a dungeon or not, but I definitely see a zombie. Hi there, Mr. Zombie. I don't know how wise it is to, uh, I don't know how many they are, I don't know where the, there's definitely, there's a lot of them, I don't know if I'm near a spawner, but I'd like to find a dungeon, because I've, as I mentioned, I've never found a dungeon of my own accord, there are a lot of zombies though, look at all, look at them all, look at all those zombies, so there, there's probably something down there. But I've never found a dungeon on my... I'm actually going to turn down the volume a little bit more. Uh, um, I've never found a dungeon because I've always... I, I've like, I found dungeons, but I've never really found one like this, I guess. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. When you played on Peaceful your entire Minecraft career, and all of a sudden you do things that you've only seen other people do, or... That was dumb. Um, anyway, I, I'm just glad if I... This is, this is actually a dungeon, though I don't know if it is or not. Um, I'll be happy. No? No, it's just a room full of zombies. That was... That's actually that's really disappointing. I thought I'd found a dungeon. Well, while sticking around, I found 37 pieces of, uh, of iron just from sheer luck. I don't know what time it is. But if it's daytime, I'm going to go back outside, and I'm going to uh, take this home. So I'll see you guys there. Or if it's dark, I won't. Uh, I'll probably be running like a little girl and hiding inside a hole for all night. But we're going to see what happens. Alrighty, guys. I'm back. I've made some various improvements around here. I've made myself a bucket and got myself some water. There's an infinite spring underneath here, which is the fueling these, hopefully, I don't know, I haven't tested this yet, but um, I've made myself a little wheat farm. I've cooked up some pork chops as well, so I have that for a food source. And I'm going to put my hoe away. Um, I've doubled my furnace capacity, and hopefully I'd like to expand this and make it into a little cave or underground base thing. Maybe eventually link it up with the cave down here once I get it safe. But, um, I've uh, went and had to kill some pigs because I was almost going to starve to death. I'd like to explore that mountain someday. But I think I'm ready to go back uh, caving. And also probably going to wet myself. But now I have a lot more iron. Um, actually, I should make myself... Uh, 
I should make myself some iron armor before I go down there because I am not prepared. So I will do that and I'll see you guys when I see you. Alrighty, now I think I'm prepared. I have full suit of iron armor and I, ha I made myself an extra pickaxe because I, no I noticed this one's getting low. And now I think we're ready to go. Hopefully now we can get a little bit deeper. It's good to have that sensation of making a little bit of progress every single time. Because I am really out of practice with the whole caving thing. And I'd hopefully like not to get killed again. So yes, I have no idea how long this episode is going to be. It's probably a bit longer than my other one. Um, the other one actually just finished rendering on uh, Vegas right now, so my frame rate is a little bit better. Not very much, but a little bit. So now I'm able to... Um, should I mine this coal? It's always good to have some more coal. See, most people pass up coal every single time they see it. Just like, oh, it's just coal. But I am the, of the opinion that you can never have enough coal. Because I have been strapped for resources so many times. And like, do I have enough coal? No, I don't have enough coal. Because I never collect the coal. So now I'm making sure I have plenty of coal. Here I hear more zombies. And I hear cave noises. They're probably... Oh, we're back to the water stream again. They're probably a little bit further down here, then. Um, we're going to block this off right there. There we go. Now we should be able to go safely down here. Hello! Oh, wait. Oh, I got co I saw a cobble and I got excited. Uh, I hear zomp. Let's throw. Yes, let's just throw my pickaxe. Ah, uh, this is this is where I found the zombies. I see. I got a lot excited too. Then where's where's that zombie noise coming from? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know where that zombie noise is coming from. More coal. Oh. And that is why you never dig up, folks. Folks. That is why you never dig above you. And also, my mouse just... That was weird. My mouse just farted out on me. But, yeah. Hold on, let me see how much um, time I have. How many hours... Not hours. How much episode I've made so far, because I'm getting tired. Alright, uh, this is 32 minutes of episode, which is a little bit longer than my last one. But I... I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. So, once again, I'd like you to have a good day, and I shall see you next time.